Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and hello if you're new here, welcome, hi, my name is Holly Boone. So today I have filmed this glam makeup tutorial. I think this is definitely my favourite look that I have ever done. I'm honestly like obsessed with this. I think I'm probably going to wear this all the time now. Um, but yeah, if you want to see how I did this makeup look, then please keep watching. Also, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, please subscribe and yeah. Let's go with the makeup tutorial. So I've decided to actually film my makeup tutorial in my living room because the lighting is so much better in here. Basically the lighting in my studio always ends up too bright or it makes me look orange or my camera just doesn't vibe with that lighting for some reason. So here is like the best lighting in my opinion. So that's why I'm sat on the floor in my living room with my glass table. But um, yeah, so I was gonna do like a colorful makeup look but I actually had so many requests for more like softer type of vibe with a smoky liner so i'm just gonna literally just go with the flow and just do whatever i don't really know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go with it so yeah i'm gonna start with concealing under my brows and i've been using the dose of colors concealer recently i absolutely love this it's so so good really full coverage doesn't crease just lasts all day it's my favorite at the moment um so i'm gonna use the shade 16 i think I kind of go between 16 and 14, like if I want bright then I do 14, I'm probably going to do 14 under my eyes but 16, or a mixture of both, but 16 on my lids, so I'm just going to apply a bit of concealer. And then I'm going to take the Doll Beauty, this is a flat synthetic brush, you can use any flat, you can use any flat synthetic brush but this one's really good. I'm just going to go under my brows. So I don't like to apply too much product under the brow, so I just do, um, I just try and thin it out. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to go over that. I like to do my brows last, because if I get any product build up, then I go through my brows with like a makeup wipe. And then go in with product, because yeah, when I'm doing my base, I just end up getting a build up of product in my brows, I just don't like it. So I'm then going to take my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. A little bit on my sponge and I'm going to press this over that just to set that so when we go in with shadows it's just a lot easier blends a lot easier it just lays down better I'm going to throw it all the way back okay we're going back in time here and I'm going to use the master palette by makeup by Mario um this is such an old palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills but um yeah I like to re I like to go back and use old palettes because I don't like them to just go to waste so um, I mean, sometimes I just be constantly buying new ones and I'm like, I need to go back and use the other ones and stop buying new ones all the time. There's just no need. So yeah, I'm gonna, first of all, go with shade Isabel, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna use the Doll Beauty Fluffy Brush. It's quite a big one. Um, and I'm gonna pick up some of that shadow. I'm gonna tap off the excess. And then I'm just gonna dust this in my crease. And I'm going to actually keep this in the inner corner and kind of push it up towards the brow as well. And then when I get to here, I'm just going to keep it in just above the crease and in the crease. I like this brush because it gives you kind of like a really light dust of colour. It doesn't pick up too much product. It kind of evenly disperses it. Um, and yeah, you just want to go really light handed as well. Don't go into heavy handed. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the shade 5th Av, which is just really gorgeous gold. So nice. Um, so I'm going to actually pick this up on my finger. I'm going to try it on my finger first. If I don't like it, I'll use a brush. But I don't like it to be too structured, too neat. Um, so I'm going to pick it up on my finger. And I'm just going to apply this to my lid. Yeah, I like to use my finger because I don't like it to be too structured. Don't worry about under here because we're going to... Um, sort that in a minute and then I'm going to take this fluffy brush again and I'm going to buff over the edge I'm going to build it up a little bit I'm going to apply a little bit more and then again I'm just going to dust lightly over the edge and then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to I'm going to use this pointy fluffy brush from Doll Beauty and I'm going to use the shade Violetta which is this like chocolatey brown and I'm going to buff this along my lash line I'm gonna kind of put it like this and I'm gonna go along my lash line so I've just decided I kind of want this in the outer corner as well so I'm gonna apply to the outer corner 
and wing it out and then I'm gonna go along the lash line. This brush is really good if you want to keep your shadow winged out because um, it's kind of got this slight point so it makes it easy to just wing your shadows. This is why I kind of like to do my eyes first because obviously you get full out here. So it's just easier and then you can just wipe it away. I'm gonna a smaller flat brush like this. I'm gonna go back to the shade Violetta and I'm gonna get right in there the lash line. This brush just works better for lash line than the other one. I'm gonna go right into the inner corner here as well. Okay, so I think I want this is a little bit more intense along the lash line. So I'm gonna take the shade Claudia, which is right here. Um, again, on this flat brush. And I'm just gonna press this along my lash line. Really close to the lash line. It's just gonna um, just intensify my lash line a bit more. Just define it a bit more. Just to get right in this corner with the shimmer, I'm just taking this Morphe M124 brush. I'm just gonna press on some more of that shimmer. My base and everything, and then I'm gonna do lashes and brows and all of that. So, um, I'm gonna prime my skin. I'm gonna use the Tatcha, the Silk Canvas Primer. Absolutely love this, it's so good. Makes my skin really soft, makes the makeup go on well. It minimizes my pores my favourite. Um, I know this is really hard to get in the UK. Another one that I really like is the YSL Touche Eclat Primer. Like I've got the tiniest bit left. This is really good for minimising pores as well. That's what I like to do mostly with primer. So I mostly just focus this in the centre here where my pores are large. It's just really good as well. It's moving out the skin. It smells unbelievable. So I want really glowy skin today. I just want to go for the really, obviously we've done shimmer on the eyes and I want really glowy skin. So I'm going to use the um, Iconic London Illuminator Drops. I'm going to put a couple of these on the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to take this LA Girl. This is just a small little stipple brush. And I'm just going to buff this on the high points of my face. I'm going to go just above my brow. So yeah, I like to add the glow under the foundation. And then I'll add a bit of glow on top as well. This kind of makes it look a bit more natural glow rather than like it's just sitting on top of the skin. So for foundation, I've recently been using the um, Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. I absolutely love this. It's not matte though. This foundation is not matte in the slightest, but it's really nice. <laughs> so I'm going to use the shade 220. I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. And I'm going to just apply this with the, I like to apply it with a brush first of all and then I go over it with a sponge. I'm going to use the Zoeva 128 Cream Cheek Brush. And I'm going to just stipple this onto the skin. See, I'm going to apply this first with this brush and then I'm going to go over with a sponge afterwards. Yeah, I really love this foundation. Like I said, it's not matte though. Like it will give you a nice glowy finish. So I'm not sure why they called it matte. I'm poreless to be honest. I like to bring my foundation lightly up under the eyes as well because it just gives me a little bit of extra coverage and just concealer because my dark circles tend to show through. If your dark circles aren't bad, you don't need to put foundation under your eyes as well as concealer. Concealer will just be enough. So I'm just going to take my beauty blender like I said and I'm just going to go over it. I like to do this because then I feel like it really pushes the foundation into the skin and it doesn't sit on top. Um, a lot of times when the foundation is kind of sitting on top of the skin, it can look a little bit cakey. So the best thing to do is to really work it into the skin. Concealer, like I said, I've been using the Dose of Colours full coverage concealer recently. I'm going to use the shade 16 and the shade 14. I'm going to do a little bit of 16 and then mostly 14 because I want a bright under eye. So I'm just going to do a few little dots of this one just under my eyes. This has a, this is more of a neutral undertone, number 16, and then number 14 is more of like a, a yellowy undertone. I always like to bring this up down the size of my nose because this gives me like a reverse contour effect. And then I'm gonna just do a little bit here in the center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose. And a little bit on the chin. And then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna blend this in. So I've just put some of the Makeup Revolution Concealer and Define 
um, concealer in the shade 12.5. I just put some on the back of my hand and I'm just dipping my brush in. Um, this is the Zoeva 128 Cream Cheek Brush. So I'm just dip dipping my brush into this. This is the same one I use for foundation and I'm just applying this to the skin. This gives me a transition from my contour so that my contour blends a lot easier. Um, so then I'm going to go in with cream contour in a second but this one just gives me like this shade, because it's like a bronzy shade, just gives me that transition and it just makes it look way better. So it just blends better. So I'm gonna go here on my cheeks as well. So yeah, if you feel like it's hard to blend in cream contour, then definitely go with like a cream bronzy color and then it will give you a transition. The same way you do on your eyes, you know, you do transition color and then build it up. It's just easier to do it that way. And for cream contour, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. This is in the shade 340. This is a really good contour shade. Again, I'm just going to put some of this on the back of my hand. The best thing to do is to put it on the back of your hand and then just kind of disperse it a little bit on the back of your hand so that you don't go in with loads of product straight away. So yeah, now I've got that transition of bronze, of a bronzy colour. It's way easier now. So next I'm going to set the cream, so I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder and I'm going to use my Beauty Blender I'm going to set under the eye I'm going to avoid this area right here because I'm going to apply some glow in a bit so I'm just kind of going right under the eye here and then just bringing it down a little bit because powder here is going to help minimize your pores as well if you do have large pores to really push the powder into the skin it will really 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 fill the pores in minimize them you won't even be able to see them i'm also just going to bake down the sides of my nose because i'm going to contour with a powder in just a second i'm going to set the center of my forehead so i'm going to leave the bake on my nose like that and i'm going to do my brows and we're going to do lashes under eye and all of that and then we'll finish off the face so for my brows obviously i've got some product in them so i'm going to take a wipe and i'm going to just wrap it around my finger like this and i'm just going to go through the brow just to get rid of any excess foundation in the brows or you know powder and stuff that makes them look dull do you see the difference if you just wipe the excess powder off your brows this one looks more ashy. So then I'm gonna take my brow pencil, I'm just gonna brush the hairs. I honestly, you have used this brow pencil for so long now, like I honestly don't use anything else. <laughs> this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Black. But black is not actually that dark. Um, so I'm gonna just lightly underline them, like really, really lightly. I like to extend my brow a little bit as well, because it's a little bit short. And then I'm just gonna Start brushing upwards. And I'm gonna start combing it out. I don't want too much product in my brows. I don't like too much at all. I think that's probably all I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna take my Morphe, this is the clear brow gel. And I'm gonna comb this through the brows. This will make them look more fluffy and it will also keep your hairs in place if your eyebrow hairs tend to move a lot, which mine do. And then with the start of the brow, I'm just gonna take this brush, this has a little bit of concealer on it. And I'm just gonna go lightly backwards and forwards over that, it just softens it. So just zoomed you right in, I'm gonna finish off my eye makeup. I'm gonna do my lashes first. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic, this one's my favorite. So for lashes, I'm going to use the HMB Cosmetics Lashes in the style of that bitch. These start off shorter in the inner corner. Um, they're really fluffy. They're double layered. These are like my going out kind of vibe. So with this eye look, I would wear these. My daytime ones are the style of the realist. They're really fluffy. This is what they look like. They're really fluffy. Really curly. They're actually synthetic as well. Um, so they're cruelty free. They have a clear band. And you can use these up to 25 times and they're only £8.50. So I will link them down below in case you guys want to get them. But these are like my favourite ones for when I'm doing like full glam. And the lash glue that I like to use is the Doll Beauty one. I love this one. It's so good. I think they might have changed the House of Lashes glue. It went out of stock for a long time. And then when it came back, it's just not as good as it used to be. I don't know if they've changed it or what's happened. But I tried to use it the other day and it just doesn't stick my lashes on as good as it used to. 
So whilst they dry for a little bit, I'm gonna finish my under eye. So I'm gonna first of all use the shade um, Violetta, which is the chocolatey brown color here. I'm gonna use that shade on the Morphe M124 brush like this. And I'm gonna just apply this along the lash line. I'm gonna keep it quite tight to the lash line. And then we're gonna blend it in just a second. I don't want to bring this down too far. Once I've done that, I'm going to go to the shade Isabel, which was the transition colour that we used, this one right here. And I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to buff underneath. Again, I don't want this to come down too far, like I said, so I'm just really keeping this quite tight. So I'm going to use these Doll Beauty eyelash tweezers, they're so good, they really help me stick my lashes on, like, so, so good. So I'm just going to give my lashes a little bend. Let's stick the middle first. Mm -hmm. screen might still be a bit wet actually. Oh no. And then I move the outer corner. And then I like to move the inner corner. So first of all I would just leave them to dry down. Um, on the eye and then once they're fully dried I will like pinch them really close to the lash line. So yeah if you've not tried these um, eyelash tweezers, if you struggle to put eyelashes on these are actually so good. Um, I've recently just started using them, I just love them, they're so good. I used to use normal tweezers but these ones are better. So like I said I'm going to wait for the lashes to fully dry and then I'm going to pinch them so they're really close to the lash line. Um, so then what I like to do now is I like to use lip liner in my waterline, um, just make sure that the lip liner is eye safe but the Morphe ones are. So this is in the shade Bite Me, I'm going to sharpen it so it's nice and clean and then I'm going to apply this in my lower lash line. And I'm also going to use this as lip liner as well, obviously I'll resharpen it so it's clean um, so that it kind of ties in really well with the eyes. I'm just going back over with some shadow, again tight to the lash line like I said. And then I'm going to do my bottom mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic. And I'm just going to pinch them, just lightly, so they're really close to the lash line. So I'm just going to take some contour on this, this is like an angled dense brush, this is from Iconic London. And I'm just going to go down the front of my nose. Does anybody else's nose always run when they do their makeup? Because mine does every time. And then I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. I love this. You can see how much I love this. I use it all the time. Um, so I'm going to just go down the bridge of my nose with this on the same brush. And I'm just going to kind of actually press over the contour just to help it blend in a little bit more like that. And I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Fluffy Brush and I'm going to press this under my eyes as well. Next I'm going to apply bronzer just over where I did the contour and obviously the cream bronzer. Just going over with a powder, just lightly, not, not too much. I don't feel like I need much. I'm going to apply blusher. I'm going to use the H&B Cosmetics Feeling Peachy. So now I need to bring my glowy skin back to life. So I'm going to spray my face with the Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Spray. I'm going to just intensify my glow a bit more so I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill loose highlight this is so good I've been using this all the time recently I'm actually obsessed with it um, and I'm going to use this Sigma duo fiber powder brush and I like to use the shade bomb I don't know if I said that already I'm going to pick up some of it on this brush tap off the excess because it is really intense and then I'm going to just apply this honestly the nicest highlight ever 
I'm obsessed with it. So I'm gonna apply this just above my brow. And then I'm gonna take some of this and I'm gonna apply it in the inner corner of my eye as well. So lastly, I'm gonna do my lips. So like I said, the liner that I used in my waterline, I'm gonna use as my lip liner as well. But I'm gonna resharpen it obviously so it's clean. Where did that go? Hello? What the fuck? Where did that go? Oh, it's there. I'm gonna line my lips with this. And then I'm gonna fill my lips in a little bit with this as well. Then I'm gonna take the MAC um, lipstick in the shade Impulsive for the center. And then of course, I feel like I need a gloss because we're so glowy. I'm gonna use the Doll Beauty Gloss in the shade. This is this looks really gorgeous, this lip gloss. It's like shimmery. Um, this is the shade hashtag blogged. So I'm gonna apply this. I feel like it's gonna give me a nice bronzy vibe. Okay, yeah, this lip gloss is gorge. Then lastly, I'm going to spray my face again with the Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Spray. That is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think this is actually my favourite makeup tutorial I've ever done. I'm actually obsessed. I think this might be my new favourite look. Um, let me know what you think down below. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And I will see you on my next video. Bye everyone.